Welcome to Getting Started with Akamai APIs. I am Mike Ellison, Developer Advocate at Akamai Technologies, and today I will be guiding you through this short tutorial on how to get started using the Akamai APIs and showing you how you can create an Akamai API client. Akamai offers a rich library of approximately 100 different APIs that will allow you to manage your Akamai solutions. Whether it is making configuration changes or retrieving the latest security events, the ability to execute these requests are available to you and is easier to start with than you might think. On our Akamai developer website, developer.akamai.com API, you can find the entire Akamai API catalog. And in this video, I will just guide you through the process of creating an Akamai API client. Before we start, there are two prerequisites. First, in order to start using the API client, you have to create it. And this can only be proficient from within the Akamai Control Center, and you will require the correct permissions in order to do so. If you are lacking these permissions, please reach out to an Akamai admin in your organization or contact your Akamai account team. And secondly, it is important to think about with which tool you will be making the API requests. Any major programming language that is able to make HTTPS requests will have the ability to make Akamai API requests, and we also have several tools supporting this. That said, let's get started with the basics and log into Akamai Control Center. Here we have Akamai Control Center, where we are going to be creating our Akamai API client. Navigate to the top left and click on the hamburger icon and scroll down to Identity and Access. You can also type in Identity in the search bar. And here we have the Identity and Access Management tab, where you can manage your users and API clients. Click on the button New API Client for Me. And here we have the Customize API Client page. On here, you can choose between Quick and Advanced. For Quick, you have the ability to spin up an Akamai API client, giving you access to all the APIs, matching your permissions. But with Advanced, you have the ability to restrict access to only certain APIs or only certain groups. Click on Quick to create your API client. And here we have it. You have the ability to update the name and description fields to reflect the settings that you want to have for them. For instance, API client for the username. If we scroll down, you can find the credentials. You can click on the download button to download your credentials, or you can copy your credentials by clicking on the copy credential button and copy them to your clipboard. We recommend to store your credentials safely in a password manager or in a vault. Your credentials consist of a host, which is the API endpoint you can send your request to, as well as a client token, a client secret, and an access token. You also have the ability to edit your API client. Click on the button and it will load the edit section. On the APIs, you have the ability to click on Select APIs. Now, if you've selected the Quick option, you'll have access to everything in your contract, and you then have the ability to manually update the settings for each API endpoint one by one. Just simply click on the field on the right, change your setting, and click on Submit. You also have the ability to select your groups similar to the APIs. Now, if you want to use your API client for purging content from the Akamai Edge network, you have the ability to select your purge options. For instance, purging by cache tags or purging by CP codes. Just select your options and click on Submit. Once you're done making your changes, click on Save and they will reflect automatically. If you click on Save, you will go back to the Identity and Access Management tab where you can find that your API is now created. In the items on the right, you also have the options for additional options. You can transfer your API client to another user in case you change organizations. 
you also have the ability to deactivate all of your credentials, which is a mandatory step in order to delete the API from your account. Once deactivated, you see the delete option and you can go ahead and delete it. And there we have it, five minutes and you're able to create your Akamai API client with matching API credentials. With these tokens, you are now able to use the tool that you want to use your API keys with. This could be HTTP Pi, Postman, or injecting these keys in any programming language of your choosing. We have example code available on developer.akamai.com for the major programming languages. We also have other tutorials available in which we show you how to make your first API request with, for instance, Postman or HTTP Pi. I hope this tutorial on getting started with the Akamai APIs has been helpful for you and has given you the knowledge to start using the Akamai APIs. For more content, please visit developer.akamai.com where you can find more tutorials and information. If you have any questions on Akamai Developer, please feel free to reach out. You can find me on social media under the handle at Akamai Mike. Thank you very much for your time today, and of course, happy Akamaizing!